This is probably going to be the most vulnerable video I have ever put out on YouTube, put out on the internet, but I think it's important that I share with you the situation that I'm in just to keep it real and like not only put some words into action and hold myself accountable, but to just in general share with you what this reseller life can be about and things that can potentially happen when you're in this business full time. Hello and welcome to my channel. If this is the first video of mine that you're watching and if you are new here, welcome back. My name is Rachel. I'm a full-time reseller. I purchase mainly clothing via mystery boxes and I sell them online on sites like eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And today I am here to share with you some changes that I intend to make with my business because it is time for a change. Hang with me, I'm about to get a little bit vulnerable, but I think it's important that I share with you what's going on with me. Maybe, I'm, maybe I'll find that I am not alone in this, so hang in there with me. Just a, a background on me, if you're not familiar with me or what I do, I am a full-time reseller now. I was a part-time reseller, also working a corporate job up until April of 2023, when I had my daughter, she was born. She's now 10 months old as of the filming of this video. And um, at that time, I made the decision not to return to a corporate job. And so what I had already spent years building up as a part-time business became a full-time business. And I say that in quotes, air quotes, because, uh, you know, really I was becoming a full-time mama with a uh, lucrative side hustle, if you will. Since then, my business has completely blown up and I've been on this wild ride of like extra sales and, you know, pumping up this YouTube channel and it's been great. It's been so much fun, but I'm realizing that it is not sustainable. So there's a few things that there's a few reasons why I need to make some changes and there's a few things I want to do, a few changes that I want to make. And I want to just share with you what I plan on doing to hopefully hold myself accountable to these, but also just keep you in the loop because I love sharing my reseller life with you on this channel. And um, honestly, I'm kind of hoping maybe I'm not alone in this. Maybe some things that you have struggled with recently or changes that you're making this year to help make your business uh, sustain more sustainable. And hopefully, you know, this inspires people to reevaluate their business if they've been struggling. Hopefully, maybe some of my ideas can resonate with others and um, we can all get a little more efficient together. So if you like reseller content, certainly consider subscribing to my channel. Um, I do a lot of unboxings on this channel. I love sharing with you what I'm bringing in, what is selling. That is gonna change a little bit, it's not going away, but I also hope to do more videos in this series of like the changes I'm making and my strategy behind certain things so that uh, we have that in the mix as well. And hit that like button if you could, that really helps out my channel. I welcome your feedback on this situation and on these types of videos. This is more of a vlog style video, which I don't typically do, but um, I really wanted to talk this out with you. So when my daughter was first born, I, although I was very busy being a mom, the reality is I was home all day. She was doing a lot of sleeping. I mean, she was a newborn and I had a lot of time to just really focus on my business. I mean, when she was sleeping, which was like, you know, 16 hours a day, I had a lot of time to um, expand, extend, film videos, list things. And that was really, really great. In fact, my business grew. I doubled my revenue in the months that I, after I went full time. And uh, I've, just, I've just been having a great time and it's so wonderful to see my business grow and to see the additional money coming in, especially because I really felt like I still wanted to contribute to my household financially, even though I wasn't working. And so it felt great to like be doing both. I felt like super mom, right? Um, but my daughter's 10 months old now and the weather is starting to get nice. I really want to like take her out, do things. Um, she's not napping for 16 hours a day anymore. She takes one 
afternoon nap, one morning nap, and that's it. And she's awake the rest of the day. And sometimes I can bring her in here and she'll hang out with me for a little bit. But she right now she's at that age where she's like into everything. And it's hard to like keep her contained in this room. She doesn't want to be in here all day. I don't want that to be her life is to just be in my office all day. And um, the reality is at this point, there is not enough hours in the day to do everything I want to do with her and to keep running my business the way that I've been running it up to this point. So some of the changes I'm going to make, nothing, first of all, nothing is like too drastic. I'm not leaving YouTube. I'm not going to stop doing mystery boxes. Um, I love this channel. If for nothing else, the sense of community that I get from all of you, and I find that it is beneficial to still take time to film videos, put them out there. I love the feedback that you give me. I love the tips that we share. I love hearing that something I've said or something I've shown you has helped you in your business. That really keeps me going. That gives me a, a sense of community and a sense of purpose. So I have no intention of stopping YouTube, right? I uh, I, I love making these videos. Now, I, I do anticipate a shift in the type of videos I make. I will still do some unboxing videos and with every unboxing video, there will still be a 90 day update. That is like the basis of my channel and I'm, I'm not going to stop doing that. Um, I will say you probably won't see as many of those because I simply just can't continue bringing in inventory as fast as I was for the purpose of making those videos. And then when I do make those videos, I need to be a little bit more realistic about what I'm actually listing. So in the past, I would basically make a point to list everything in a box just for the sake of experiment, right? To see if it would sell in 90 days and see how I could maximize my profits in 90 days selling the items online. What I've run into is a whole lot of inventory in this room. Um, I'm flooded, overflowing with inventory. And on top of that, I'm taking a lot of time to list things that in reality are just not worth listing. And so when I do my unboxings, when I do my 90 day updates, I'm going to have to um, not list everything unless everything truly is worth listing. So what I plan on doing instead is using my buy, sell trade stores a lot more, um, maybe getting a dollar or two for the item and not having to list it is um, more worth my time, you know, and if I do pick up other items, because so, I like to do that if and when I go to buy, sell trade stores, I like to maybe pick up one or two items, sell 15, pick up one or two that I think are going to yield a good profit. And then I'm only listing one or two items instead of 15, right? So um, when I do the 90 day updates, any money I make in buy, sell trade or thread up, will kind of account into the 90 day update. I'm also going to start kind of accounting for my time. Like, okay, was this box worth it based on the ease of listing, the ease of selling? Maybe I didn't double or triple my money, but like how quickly did it come in and I was able to make money quickly without having to store and uh, keep track of all that inventory. So buy, sell, trade, thread up, um, ThreadUp has been a great resource for me in um, selling things and getting just a little bit of money for things that I otherwise didn't like want to deal with. So I I've sent them some things, but I want to expand. Um, so so th that'll be in there as well. Um, ThreadUp is hard to account for in 90 day updates because by the time they get the box and process it and they sell it, 90 days is not a lot of time, but we're going to figure it out anyway. And um, of course, the bread and butter will be on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, as it always has been. Um, another thing that I absolutely plan on doing is logging my time. So I'm filming this video on January 31st. And starting February 1st, I am going to keep track of how many hours I'm truly spending working. Because I feel like I'm spending way more than a full-time job 
but it doesn't seem like it because it's all blended together with like my everyday like take care of the baby and work and I need to really just set some boundaries for myself around how long I'm actually spending sitting at this desk, how much time I'm actually spending working this business. And I, I feel guilty when there's when there's things to do and I'm not working on them. I just, that is just me and it's super toxic and I, I realize that. Um, so if I have like a pile of 40 items that need to be photographed, I will feel guilty if I like take a break and go downstairs and read a book or if I decide to go take a walk or like, you know what I mean? Like if I'm not working and there's something to be done, I feel like I should be doing it. So I do think if I account for my time, which my, my, I don't get an eight hour day that, you know, with the baby and stuff that doesn't happen. But if I can record like, okay, I spent an hour and a half in the morning before she woke up and then her first nap was 75 minutes and I worked that whole time and then, you know, et cetera, so on and so forth. Um, I think that will further help me understand how much time exactly I'm spending on this business. And I think once I get to like 40 or maybe 50 hours, um, I can give myself permission to take a break and go do something for myself or go do something with my family. And I don't feel bad about it because I can look and say, okay, I've already spent 40 hours this week working. And also, I think it's going to help me get a better realistic view of what I can fit into a day. And so this, these changes may need to evolve a little bit more just depending on how much I can still feasibly get done in a 40-hour work week. Um, so that's another thing that I will kind of take into account and I might have to reevaluate after a while. Um, for February and... You're probably going to see a few unboxing videos in the month of February because I already have them filmed, but I am not, or at least I say I'm not, but I'm going to try very hard not to order any new boxes for February or at least for the first few weeks um, because I just, I have way too much inventory and the problem is things have started to get lost. Um, and I, I'm just, I'm going so fast trying to process it all that I've made errors in my listings. I've had items that I've sold and forgot to delist, which now List Perfectly has that auto delist. So that should help me a lot. But I just, I need to slow down. I need to, first and foremost, I need to do an audit of this room and figure out if I have things that are unlisted. I need to do an audit of my platforms and see if I have things listed that have already sold. Um, List Perfectly now has that issue finder, which is going to help me out a lot with that. But a lot of it is still going to be manual going through this room, box by box, rack by rack. And um, I need to do that first and foremost here. I, in fact, I want to kind of just show you like what the situation is around here. I really just want to take you around the room and show you what I'm talking about, what my situation is right now. Here is the current situation in the reseller room. So this stack of jeans right here are already photographed and ready to be listed. I've got down here, these are from my Everlane Black Bottoms box. So that I still have to put in inventory. And then once it's in inventory, I will um, get them photographed and listed. I'm kind of not in a hurry though, because right now, I don't really have room for any more bottoms anywhere. So if I were to start doing those right now, I would have to figure out somewhere to put them. Then up here, this right here, this pile is from the Everlane shirts tops box. That also needs to be inventoried. Although probably I'm gonna do that next just because hopefully by the time I get a batch of tops done, cause I do have somewhere I can put those, then enough pants will have sold that I can start another batch of pants. Um, same up here. So these are Everlane um, from the Everlane Bottoms boxes. I have them separated out. These are women's pants, non-denim pants. And these are men's, all the men's jeans or um, casual pants or whatever. So once the tops are done, I will move on to the men's because I also have room for the men's. The women's pants also, same story with the black ones. I don't really have 
anywhere to put them right now. So it's not that I'm not processing them. It's just they're going to go on the back burner, hopefully until I can move some other stuff out. Then um, once I get everything listed, because I personally cannot stand unlisted inventory, I would rather it be listed than to be sitting here. So that's going to get done first. The next thing I'm going to do, if you come back here, excuse the hot mess. Um, back here is like no man's land. And this right here in particular is what really needs to be taken care of next. So this entire bag is probably 100 pieces of children's clothing. I have no intention of listing it, but what I do want to do is one of the in-person consignment sales, like where you like tag your own stuff and you bring it in and have it sold. I actually decided I'm not going to um, do that myself. I was going to tag everything myself and then I just decided it's not worth my time, but my local consignment sale has the option where you can like drop it off to somebody and they get a percentage of your sales, which I'm totally fine with at this point because I just don't have the time. But I at least need to organize it, figure out what all is there, and put in the request to have somebody um, do the work for me. So there's that. And then once all of that is done, I am going to start the daunting task of auditing all of this. Everything in all these boxes. So like I have women's long sleeve tops. I really need to go through this and basically anything that is past my 90 days, I'm going to get rid of it. Um, I don't always get rid of everything at 90 days, but at this point I've got too much here. I need to get it organized. So I'll go box by box and if it's not listed, then I'll make decisions. Do I even want to list it? And if it is listed, and it's over 90 days, then we are gonna start making some decisions on where it goes. Um, so that is the, that's the plan. I've got all these boxes, everything on these racks. Really, this rack here is all stuff that's basically just been listed. There's not a whole lot of really old stuff on this rack, um, just because it's all sweaters and coats and I've gotten a lot of that in recently. And then over here, this is all pants and denim. Most of this is like my new with tag Everlane, my new with tag Madewell. There's lots more than just what you see here, but this is what's hanging up here. Some of my secondhand denim is over here, which I will go through as well. Uh, and then these boxes up here, J. Crew Madewell tops. This is all naked wardrobe and Halara that's still hanging out. So I am going to go ahead and just go through every single thing. And I also need to make sure, too, that it's listed. If it's not listed, it needs to get listed or it needs to get out of here because I've had one too many problems with losing things lately and I'm not willing to keep doing that because, well, I hate doing that. That is the other thing I need to accomplish this month is I need to get all of the kids' clothing ready for the um, consignment sale. I originally signed up to do a consignment sale and it's the first one I've been doing. I've got a lot of kids clothes sitting here that I haven't listed. Um, I was going to tag and hang them all myself. And then I realized the amount of stuff I have and the fact that I would need to purchase wire hangers. I don't even know where you buy wire hangers. And purchase the special cardstock they want to hang the stuff and purchase safety pins and then sit there and hang it all. I don't have time. They do offer like a concierge service where I can drop off my items to somebody and they'll do all that for me. Um, I just don't get as much. I'm going to do that instead. But I still have to sort it out and figure out exactly what I have, how many pieces, etc. Um, so that's really important. That sale is like in a few weeks and that has to be done like first. So before I do any more purchasing, I need to audit and I need to get that consignment stuff out of here. Um, shameless plug, if there is something you've been thinking about purchasing from me, now would be the time to do it because chances are with me trying to really get through and thin out this inventory, chances are if you make me an offer, if it's reasonable, I'm going to accept it. So shameless plug, if you were thinking of shopping with me, if you've seen anything in a box recently that you might want to purchase, have at it. My links are all down below. Have fun. I 100% thoroughly intend to share this journey with you. Um, 
I do find that the more time I spend filming, the less time I spend actually getting the task complete. So I, I'm going to do my best and I may not film every single like minute of every single day, but I do want to kind of take you along with me on this journey and show you how I do this audit and, um, you know, just so you can see and also to hold myself accountable. So um, really, I'm going to start. I've already done two boxes back here. And I figure if I can do like one or two boxes a day, maybe take a, a, a whole afternoon and, and do a rack, um, I will, I will do it. And, you know, hopefully it only takes a week or so. I feel like it's one of those things that it seems like it's going to take a long, long, long time. But if I actually just like sit down and do it, it's not going to take that long. So, um, so that's where I'm at. I, I do still plan on doing the, the what sold videos. I may move them back to weekly since I'm not doing a lot of unboxing videos that way, you know, you, and I can still kind of discuss the status of, of this process as well. Um, so this is totally an informal video. Um, I, I feel like at this point I'm kind of rambling. So I'm going to wrap it up here and uh, just know that I'm excited for the changes I'm going to make. I really hope that it's a good move strategy wise. I really um, think that if I do this properly and then I, I work on what I'm bringing in in the future, I can still generate the same revenue without working quite as, as hard. So I'm taking that work smarter, not harder approach. If you have any tips for me, let me know in the comments. I want to hear what you think, what's worked for you in the changes that you've made. Let's have a discussion about it because I feel like I can't be the only person that's had to sort of reevaluate and re-evolve their business. And I've, I've re my business has evolved every year. I've reevaluated from time to time, but I've never felt that it's been like necessary, like I need to stop and pivot like right now. So um, let me know. I welcome your thoughts and make sure you subscribe if you want to be on this journey with me. If you haven't already, um, like I said, the, 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 the mystery boxes will eventually return. The 90 day updates aren't going anywhere. I hope that you'll stick around for those strategy videos. I've already got five or six that I want to make um, that I will start sprinkling in probably in March. And um, hit that like button on the way out. Like I said, it really helps my channel out a lot. It lets me know that you like this kind of content. And I will keep you updated on my progress every step of the way. I'm going to hold myself to that. So I do hope you'll stick around with me on this journey. But that is it for today, friends. Thank you so much for watching. Wish me luck. I will catch you in the next video.